How do you do, my friends? We're back in the darkest of times. Let's continue our run and uh, follow our little group as we try to survive. NSDAP wins the parliamentary election. There's a communist crackdown. And no school on Wednesday. The Ministry of Education decided that all schools and universities will remain closed on Wednesday. Uh, we need to plan our new missions. With our good members, Götz Irre. Karen Leopold, us, Gerd Hagelstein, and Emilia Meyer. Let's plan the missions and hope for the best, as we're pretty much in trouble right now, as you can see here. Someone will need to go into this, but we don't have the money for it. We have missing marks, so what we need is money. We can talk to workers, that's all good. We can talk to the Christian community again to gain more supporters. But in the end, we will need money. So we'll need to collect donations in Kreuzberg. And see what we can do about this. Huh. So being a worker would be good there. Hmm. How about God's error? Oh, it's pretty much in danger there. We'll need to go for Hagelstein. He's perfect for this mission. He'll get just about everything. They might not have much, but they might be willing to support us. Here we go. Um, in Kreuzberg. Then we can uh, do some other things. Let's see. We can talk to workers here, that will lead us to something else, but we really want to go for the Christian community here, rather. Um, and we can talk again, but really we need something here to observe, and that is we need 50 marks. Hmm. We'll go into that. We can also do other things, like meet an, meet an academic. Mm, with very low problems here. Beatrix Windrick knows a professor in Weissensee who might be up for helping us. That's really something uh, for her, and that's not too dangerous to I'll give her the bike. So there's a little bit less danger. The regime is not very popular among academics. Maybe we can find people here who'd like to collaborate with us. We can meet a friend. Mm. Risk is very low. Mm. Someone could talk to workers. Ah. Let's see. We have already talked to the Christian community. The risk, though, is low. Mm. Mm. We are not really good at this. I mean, we could go for this. It's not too bad. Could add Karen Leopold to it. Yeah, that should be it. So it's a little bit dangerous, but we're well prepared. And we've got Irim. We can also do something still. Mm. Maybe he could meet a friend. That's not that risky. Mm. Maybe it is, you know. Maybe it is. <laughs> could talk to workers. Mm. No, that's too dangerous. Could talk to workers here. Elisa Rackett, a worker, a worker and supporter of the group, wants to introduce us to some of her co-workers. Ah, <laughs> take some marks with us. That wouldn't be good too. Oh goodness! Um, we could meet a friend. Some marks would help, but we cannot expend the marks. It's not good to do this.
No, we cannot do anything with him. So he needs to wait. He needs to wait. On the other hand, we'll have to risk it, right? Um, that's not going to be good. So we'll talk to the friend. Screw it, let's do this. Meet a friend in Lichtenberg to find out if she'd be willing to help us. Here we go. Which has a lot of luck, we'll need it. We lost two supporters, but we have 32 people, and we got 10 marks at least for the group. Let's see how that works out. Goodworth meets with people from the Christian community in Templehof and talks with them about the regime and possible ways to resist it. If you think that Hitler's way is against God and that as a Christian they should do something about the situation, others have doubts because Hitler might still be God's will. And they both think they have been seen. Ooh, ooh. Let's see what we can get there. Hagenstein visits the groups and known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg. Ask for the. Uh, we'll hide. Stay calm and move on. Police are leaving. He's successful still. He's a perfect spy. People are upset about the latest atrocities of the regime and are willing to help the group. Nice. Now. Hmm? Bar Lichtenberg. Götz Irre meets with a friend. Oh my goodness. Let's hide. Stay calm and move on. Someone's getting suspicious. He had a board before achieving anything. Yeah, we're always hiding. Maybe we should do hmm? something differently, but... Amelia Meyer meets with an academic and tries to find out if she would be willing to collaborate with us. Turns out she despises the regime for its irrationality and cruelty. She says they are more like her in Vicency. Got some moral decline, but we got some supporters, so that's good. There's a new Ministry of Propaganda, founded by Goebbels. Public Enlightenment and Propaganda. Communists pushed from Parliament. Using the powers of the new Reichstag fire decree, the Nazis removed Communist Party members from the seats they won in the election. All Social Democrat newspapers banned. The Bremer Volkszeitung and Schwäbische Tagwacht are the last SPD newspapers that closed down due to being banned. 15th of March. All right, everyone, listen up. Gertz Irre begins our meeting. Yeah, he's our perfect spy. What's in the news? Due to my work at the Nazis' house, we have now very valuable information about the regime. But to warn you, this could be dangerous. Yeah, we need to plan carefully. It's going to be very dangerous, so we should plan carefully and not rush things, I say. And thanks to you so much for doing this, Gertz. You might have just opened up a chance to stop the regime for good. So we have critical intelligence. That's pretty powerful problem. Let's see what we can do here. We can go into we can send someone into hiding. How many people can we send into hiding? Emilia will have to go into hiding. Good era the same. Mm. Hagelstein is just a phenomenon, right? Um, we'll have someone else going in as well. I'm not sure about her. Maybe could worse. Yeah, we could we could use just everything we have, but we don't have to. So um, we'll go into hiding, reduce that a bit, pay for it a lot. Um, sometimes it is best to disappear from the scene for a while so that the authorities no longer care about you. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we have only a very few people to go for. Mm. Let's see. We could meet a unionist. We could meet a former unionist. An academic. Yeah. The nurse. What is the nurse good at? She could meet a friend. She's pretty empathetic. Someone could collect donations in Kreuzberg again, and should, basically. There's Hagelstein. He's just perfect for that. 
And then we have Karin Leopold, who could uh, probably meet a friend, right? Mm. So not good because she's Catholic conservative. If she meets an academic, Louise Coppen now is a professor in Spandau. Now that's a tiny bit better for some reason because it's not harmful here. She'll get the bicycle and maybe some critical intel. That just increases the danger. <laughs> so here we go. We'll send her there. She can talk. She's a nurse. She's got a pretty good education. We lost two supporters, but there's more people still supporting us. And they donated 12 marks to our group. Hagerstein visits a group known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg to ask for additional donations. He's successful. People are upset about the latest atrocities and are willing to help the group. He has been seen. Oh my goodness. A perfect spy has been seen. Amelia Maya has retreated to a safe place where nobody knows her. She returns. She feels much safer than before. And the others hopefully as well. Hmm? Karen Leopold meets with an academic from Spandau and tries to find out if she would be willing to collaborate with us. It turns out she despises the regime for its irrationality and cruelty. She says they are more like her in Spandau. So, got some supporters. Well, one supporter. Got some morale. And there's the Day of Potsdam. A ceremony for the opening of the new Reichstag was held in the Church of Potsdam and broadcast in its entirety on radio. The festivities began with religious services. The evening celebrations ended with a torchlight parade and performance of Wagner. Berlin State Opera with Hitler in attendance. Yeah, Wagner was like the, the pet componist of uh, the Nazis a little bit. They, they really loved Wagner. It's unclear if Wagner liked the Nazis or not. He probably thought they were like too, too uncultured a little bit. But on the other hand, he provided the aesthetics for them. So there's that. But Wagner... There was one thing about Wagner and why he threw themselves uh, himself at uh, anyone displaying his works. He was always in need of so much money. So it's pretty clear why he, why he went that way. Not that it, it was his only motivation, but it was certainly the strongest motivation was to gain more money to be able to continue his art trade war with Czechoslovakia. As a trade war between, uh, between Czechoslovakia and Germany is looming, Berlin shuts down all payments and travel between the two nations. Pretty bad. Trade wars are usually pretty bad for the people involved. And this is no difference. Labour camp opened. The Nazis opened a place in Dachau to retain dissidents, calling it a concentration camp. Uh, that's the first showing. So early, as you can see. 22nd of March. 33. Before the meeting, Emilia Meyer seems distracted and unusually quiet. What's the matter, Emilia? She looks up at you. It's my husband. He never came home last night. What if the SA took him? What if he's in a prison right now? We're caring. We have to help her. We're in this together, I tell Emilia. We're going to search for him and we're going to find him. Where is he? Look, we lost a lot of these points. Gerhard Hagerstein and Karin Leopold could be put back into this. That would be pretty helpful, but... Uh, we also have to do something. Morale is not looking so good. We have to help Amelia. Here, search for the husband of Emilia Meyer. That's what we need. He went missing. We have to find out what happened. Ulrich Meyer. We need secrecy and uh, empathy. 
Or about Hagenstein. Ah, it's dangerous because already got two heat, right? And Leopold. It's so dangerous. Maybe we could do it with Kurt. Oh, he's so bad at these things, Guts. Would be better. Emilia. Mm. Emilia is curious, so that is very helpful. So yeah, she she'll look herself. Of course she'll look, right? That's something. Mm. Being calm would be would be good for that. Maybe Code can help. He would add no danger and a little bit of help. He's the ideal man to help, right? Uh, so we have 30 marks and we could go for a bicycle because it's two people going for this. Let's confirm that. Mm. Now we definitely need some money somewhere. Let's see if we can do that somewhere, anywhere. Collect donations in Kreuzberg. We have Hagelstein. <sighs> We've got Ira with a lot less danger. Karin Leopold, who is absolutely unsuited for this. But Ira has less danger and less preparation. He has much more danger. We, we don't want him to do this. We'll have Guts Irre do this. He's good enough. Collect donations in Kreuzberg. You will. You can talk to workers here. To the Christian community. We still have to get the 50 money. But we, we have to help Amelia Meyer first, of course. Meet a former unionist. Here or a friend. Let's see. Hagelstein. He's a furrier, so meeting a unionist will be good for him. Good mission for him. When a Kleiner knows a former trade unionist who might be willing to support our cause. Yeah, that, that's something for him. That's something to him. And uh, Karin Leopold can maybe meet a friend, we'll see. Yeah, it's okay. Let's find out if he'd be willing to help us. Wish us luck. Eleven marks and still thirty-eight people supporting us. <sighs> Karin Leopold meets a friend who used to be a critical of the Nazis to see if he might help for helping us. The friend is still opposed to the regime and is eager to support us. But she has been seen. And now the most critical thing: Guts Irre visits a group's known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg to ask for additional donations. He is just successful. People are upset about this latest atrocities of the regime and are willing to help the group. Very nice. Amelia Meyer talks to our contacts and visits all the pubs where members and friends of the SA can be found, hoping to learn where the whereabouts of Amelia Meyer's husband. She learns that the SA has captured someone that fits the description of our member's husband. Court thinks he has been seen. Uh, he as well. Hmm? Gerd Hagerstein meets with a former unionist in Wilmersdorf to see if he could be convinced to join the resistance. The trade unionist is furious about the way the regime has limited workers' rights and is willing to support us wherever he can. So that was pretty su successful from the supporters' point of view, but the morale has declined. And it's getting more dangerous. Enabling Act grants Hitler legislative powers. The new parliament passes the Enabling Act despite the objections of the Social Democrats. The Act allows Hitler to create new laws, even in change the constitution without parliamentary consent. Hitler says the Jews are safe here. Hitler rejects the accusations in foreign newspapers. There's no danger in Jews in 
Germany. The press is lying. Crackdown on the media. Goebbels announces a political purge of public broadcasting and media starting April 1. The German radio station will broadcast an hour of the nation daily from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. I have some good and some bad news, says Emilia Meyer on the 29th of March 1933. The good news, we found my husband after he went missing. Oh, that's good. And the bad news? The SA is holding him captive. The room falls silent. Let's get to work. All right, people. We have work to do, I say. We know his location, so it's up to us to get him out. We should free him. That's going to be very dangerous. Panko. The risk is high. We learned where the SA has illegally detained the husband of one of our members. Police won't help us. We have to deal with this ourselves. Emilia. My goodness. She's so bad at this. She's just not secretive enough. Oh. <laughs> goodness. Court. Court is good with helping. Amelia is increasing the danger massively because she's not so secretive. Gerhard. That would be a success. Throw in the bicycle. Throw in some marks. Maybe like this, so the danger isn't isn't at least red. How about her? Yeah, they they're just too suspicious. Amelia. Make it red. Let's see if we can further yeah, we'll get it to green. We'll have to do it. Secrecy. Helpful is being calm. Oh, that's good. So the two of us. It's the leader and the irre, <laughs> the crazy one. We'll spend all of our marks on this. Confirm. Save her husband. And now, mm, something that doesn't need to be that secretive needs to be done. And we need money. We need money. She'd be okay for this. Let's see about Karin. Whoa, no, 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 no. The, the risk is just very high. Gerhard is much better for this they might not have much but they might be willing to support us yes let's let's send gerhard he's just great at this mm, we could meet with conservatives karin could do that maybe it could open up something meet a former unionist mm, as a nurse we could talk to workers yeah Let's meet with conservatives. Horst Eulenberg knows many conservatives in Wilmersdorf. He wants to introduce us to those who might be open to opposing the regime. Mm. Monarchist is helpful. She'd be made for that. How about her? Yeah. Well, I mean... I think we have to risk it. We should talk to them. But that is pretty good already. So let's let's do let's have a do it alone. It's much less dangerous. And we have Karin, the nurse. What could she do? She could meet Hildegard Kleiner, who is a former trade unionist who might be willing to support our cause. Yeah, that's not so good, right? Just the danger is so high. How about if she talks to workers? Ooh, that's pretty much useless. Talk to the Christian community. Mm. There's heavy patrols here. There's some patrols here. It's not good. She could meet the unionist. Oh. 
Is that worth it? No, 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 no. She'll have to stay calm. Next round, we'll give. We'll get to go into hiding. <coughs> so, let's go for that. We can do it. We lost two supporters. 38 people are still supporting us. Our donate supporters donated 11 marks to our group. And now, money. Hagelstein visits the groups of known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg to ask for additional donations. They are upset about the latest atrocities and are willing to help the group. Oh, he's such a cash cow, right? So good. At night, Kurt Worth and Götz Irremedian front the SA location where they are detaining Emilia Mai's husband. While Kurt Worth keeps watch, Götz Irre breaks in, finds the husband, and they flee together. We did it. We freed her husband. Ulrike Meyer is free. Save them from the Nazis. Amelia Meyer meets with a group of conservatives who are friends and colleagues of one of our supporters in Wilmersdorf. While these people are no leftists, they find Hitler and the Nazis are the main problem right now and are willing to seek unusual alliances to do something about it. Well, we're not unusual, we're also conservative. My goodness, it is Saturday and I'm on my way to buy groceries for the weekend. When I see this shop in the distance, I can already tell that something is up. In front of the building, a crowd of people has gathered including a few men wearing the brown uniform of the SA. Well, we'll get closer. I approach the store to see what's going on. Three brown shirts stand around the entrance of the shop, holding signs with anti-Semitic slogans, the Star of David and the word Jew are painted on the shop window. Oh, I mean, we can already read the signs. Um, that's probably not forbidden. Signs say, Germans fight back, don't buy from Jews, and attention Germans, these Jewish shop owners are parasites. The owner of this shop is the Jew Nathan Schmidt. It's just their usual rambling. Though. The woman tries to enter the shop, but one of the brown shirts sends her away. Um, we'll talk to a passersby. I look at the people who are watching the scene. I'll ask the elderly woman. Happening here, I asked her. Those Jews are getting what they deserve, she answers. One of the SA men is looking at me. We'll ask what she means. How so? I asked. They are our enemies, the woman yells, throwing wild gestures, sucking us dry. Who do you think gets all the money Germany must pay for these reparations? That's right, they get all the money, but now we'll strike back. It's time for them to pay. I've heard enough. I wonder who to talk to next. To the mother holding her child by the hand. Do you know what's going on? I asked. The girl holding her mother's hand looks at me and smiles. She might be around five years old. No, the mother shakes her head. I don't want to know. She takes the girl and moves down the street. We look around. I look at the people who are waiting at the scene. A man in a suit. Yeah, that's that's the man. That's the one. He's pretty conservative, we're sure. Can you tell me what all this is about? I ask a man wearing a suit. He looks like he doesn't belong in this part of town. Shh, he says, and gives me an angry look. But I ask again. I hold my voice and ask again. What's going on here? Why are they attacking this shop? It's happening everywhere, the man says. I came from Friedrichstadt. It's the same there. They're standing in front of every Jewish shop. Doctors, lawyers, you name it. I have no idea what they are planning. Some of these places have been around for decades. I ask him why he's here. Actually, says the man, I am supposed to do business with Mr. Schmidt, the owner of this shop, but it doesn't look like it will happen today, so we'll, I guess I'll go. He turns around and walks away. I turn around. I wonder who to talk to next. No one will turn toward the store. The SA starts to chant Germany to the Germans. Get out of Jews. And, uh... Is there a point talking to them? Yeah, we must try. Talk some reason to them. What are you doing here? I ask one of the SA men. What does it look like to you? He says. Um, well, I don't know. I have no idea. Are you looking for groceries? You, says the leader of the group. Watch out, or you'll regret it. He comes closer. We'll calm him down. All right, all right, I say. I don't want any trouble. Wake up, Germany, they shout. We'll enter the shop. I approach the shop and try to enter, but one of the brown shirts blocks my path. Where do you think you're going, he barks. Mm. Oh, we, we 
need some groceries, right? Um, at him I walk into the shop it's dark inside the shop and my eyes need a moment to adjust there's someone in the back are you all right we'll buy something hello says a female voice are you sure you want to do that I don't think the men outside will appreciate if you buy anything here yeah you're probably right I shouldn't buy here I just wanted to check in to see if you if you're fine must also think about the other members of the group. Maybe you're right, I say. Maybe I'll spare us both some trouble. I feel sick when I get home. Things in this country are only getting worse. We must be careful. We had... Wow, well, we had a lot of morale incoming. And some supporters. So that was a pretty successful week. There's the shop boycott. The Ju Nazis organize a day-long boycott of Jewish businesses across Germany. And Heinrich Himmler is appointed police commissioner of Bavaria. We have 10,000 Prussians arrested. Since February, Prussian police and SA have arrested more than 10,000 people and taken into protective custody. There's enough space in regular prisons. Many are kept in makeshift camps. Yeah, you know where this leads. 5th April of 1933. And Götz Iris seething. I swear to you, the fire at the Reichstag was the biggest gift the Nazis could have hoped for. What do you mean? He continues, they're blaming the Communist Party, whom they've been enemies with forever. And now they have the excuse they need to just round them all up, including my own father. <gasps> can we help? There's something we can do to help, I ask him. I need a lawyer for my father in prison, but that costs money. We have no money, sorry. I'm so sorry, but we can't spare any money right now, I tell him. He hates that, of course. He's disappointed. But it is as it is. We have no money. Could go into hiding. 30 marks. We have to send Amelia in there. And we'll probably send Gerhard in there and Karin in there as well. So we have Guts and Court. What can they even do? Not good at this, right? Uh, we could meet a former unionist again. We should collect donations. That would be pretty, pretty great. We could talk to workers. That's something Guts could do. We could talk to the Christian community again. Hmm. That's maybe something good. I mean, that's dangerous, but let's see if Götz could do it. Could, Götz could pull it off. Yeah, Götz put, could definitely pull it off. And we could help him. Mm. Well, let's, let's, let's have him do it alone. That's good enough. <coughs> and Court. What could Court do? Yeah, he could talk to the Christian community. That's what he's best at, probably. Here we go. Wouldn't be that successful, but let's give him a bicycle. And here we go. F 43 supporters. Some more marks. Let's see what we can do. Cold Worth meets with people from the Christian community in Templov and asks with them about the regime and possible ways to resist it. Quite a few think that the Hitler's way is against God, and that as a Christian, we should do something about the situation. Others have doubts, because it might still be God's will. And then, Götz Irre visits the group of known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg. And they're donating a lot of money. Which is good. Amelia Meyer has retreated to a safe place where nobody knows her. When she returns, she feels much safer than before. 
we have lost the father of God's Irem, which is bad, pretty bad, as you can see. Minus 11. Oof. Jews and communists removed from service. Newly established law for the restoration of the professional civil service. Jewish and communist inclined workers are purged from the civil service. Change in state governorship. New governors from the Nazi party are appointed to lead the German states. And Papen resigns as Reichskommissioner of Prussia. Yeah, that's the conservatives also get removed. Uh, on the 12th of April, 1933. Kind Leopold pulls me aside. Look, it's my brother. I never dreamed things would go this far, but... Oh, God. It's okay, you can tell me, I say. Current size looks down at the ground and back up at me. Last night, he came home in a brown shirt uniform. Karin Leopold, you are in danger. If he finds out you're with us, you could end up in prison or worse. Well, all of us could. Shh, they don't need to know, says Karin, looking at the others. Listen, I know my brother trusts me. This could be a huge opportunity for us. I could get valuable inside information. Yeah, let's, let's try that. You'll be our informant. All right then, let's do this. And see if you can get us any valuable information, but please be careful. She's good at this. She's reckless. She can do it. Let's see what we could do. Yeah, Emilia could still be, should still be in here. And Court and Götz could join in. It costs us a lot, but it's absolutely needed. We can collect donations and meet some people without any any good danger. The Great Escape. Hmm. It's not something we can do at the moment. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, collecting donations is mandatory. And Garrett is the best to do it. We know that already. He doesn't even need a bicycle. It's just so good. He's our cash cow. Current Leopold. I won't miss Papen. No one will. Yet the consequences of him leaving are bad. Hmm. He's also a Catholic conservative. She could talk to the Christian community. Workers workers meet a former unionist not the kind of thing that's something she could do well let's see if, if some money would help no. critical intelligence would help a bit indeed give us more people or just could give a bicycle maybe we'll need this uh still so let's confirm that how much could we get here eight to ten hmm? that's not bad that's not bad we must save this for something something really critical so let's confirm this wish us the best 14 marks to our group Karin Leopold meets with people from the Christian community in Templehof and talks with them about the regime. We have a new priest contact. He will speak about our other members uh, with members of the community. Nice. Um, so there's that. We might get even more supporters there. At Hagerstein visits the group known supporters among workers in Kreuzberg. People are upset and are willing to help the group. And we get a lot of marks. Things seem to be fine. Emilia Meyer re retreated to a safe place where nobody knows her. When she returns, she feels much safer than before, and our others as well. So that's good, but the morale is a really big problem. Shektita ban. The Jewish practice of Shektita, the ritual slaughter of animals in the preparation of kosher food, is declared illegal. <coughs> Rudolf Hess is appointed as a deputy Führer. 
and NS students begin action against the un-German spirit. In several cities, the official organization of the NS students begins its action against the un-German spirit by publicly is purging Jewish and progressive artists and scientists. Yeah, that was that was pretty terrible. Um, of course, the other things as well, but that led to. Uh, I mean, I love culture, and that is one of the things I always remember. The freedom of art and science in danger. <clears throat> that's where ir irrationality prospers, and that's terrible for all people involved, for everyone. Just before the meeting, Emilia Meyer takes me aside and tells me she knows of a snitch among our supporters. <clears throat> There's a snitch. Oh. You could confront him, but it's Emilia Meyer. It would be very dangerous for her. You'll warn everyone, but don't confront the snitch. We need to be careful, I say to Emilia. Let's warn our supporters and the rest of the group. Try to exclude the traitor without tipping them off. Let's go for new missions. Uh, Emilia, oh, look, she's lost so much. <clears throat> that was very good. She can go do something... Something easy. That would be nice. Um, yeah, we need the money so we can observe and then we can steal uniforms. We can make that through the Christian community here. <clears throat> There's something here we could buy medicine. It would probably be useful to have medicine. There's something here we could visit a museum. That would up the morale, but the morale is still okay, at least. Mm. Maybe we'll buy paint, I'm not sure, but we we really need the money, so let's see. Who can collect donations? Is it Emilia who can do that? No, she's not really good at that. Gertz would be okay with that. Gerhard, of course, is perfect, but... other things let's let's have a look at the inventory we have 38 marks talk to workers a worker should go to workers he's he's also a worker but let's see what worker jobs we have basically here oh, a unionist yeah that would be something for a worker Court is pretty bad at that. Court seems to be, that's our leader, but he's probably bad at absolutely everything. What about her? She's also bad at that. Let's, let's send Gerhard. He's just the reliable one for this. Mm, could talk to the Christian community. What about her? She's a monarchist. She could buy the medicine. By the paper, by the paint. Yeah, let's let's at least do something, right? Could buy paint. Mm. Empathy and literacy. She's got seven combined, and we've got yeah, not that much combined. Emilia could do it, we could get two of that. Four is the maximum we could get. If Court her helps, we could get three. If we would add some marks. We could get three to four. Yeah, we're sending the literate people here to buy paint. 
And someone needs to talk to workers. What's that? We'll meet a former unionist. That seems to be easy. And of course our nurse can do that. And Götz can go talk to workers maybe. Let's see. Of course he's a worker as well. I mean, he could go and buy medicine. Our supporter Gundula Heller introduces us to a doctor in Wilmersdorf who is willing to supply us the medicine without asking too many questions. Guts would be good for that. We don't have much money for that, so. But I suspect it could be important, so. We will try that. We'll use the bike. That doesn't matter. Okay, let's confirm. One medicine. Why not? Get some money from our supporters. So we got 48 people supporting us, which is good. Got Hagerstein visits the groups known supporters among, in, among the workers in Kreuzberg. And People are willing to help, and he thinks he has been seen. Oh, that's not good. What's going on now? Sirius on his way to meet with a doctor who is willing to sell us medicine. He visits the doctor at his medical practice outside the regular opening hours and brings back the medicine. Great. Maria Maya goes to a shop far from where she lives to avoid the shop owner recognizing her. <gasps> we need to. We need to hide. Stay calm and move on. Police are leaving. After a while, he returns with a paint. Nice. We did it. We, that was lucky. Mm? Colonel Leopold meets with a former unionist in Reinickendorf to see if he would be convinced to join the resistance. And he does, and also his friends. Morale is worrying, but we got supporters. Goering forms the secret police force named Gestapo from the former Prussian police. Adolf Hitler's 44th birthday is celebrated as a national holiday with celebrations across Germany, including parades and special church services in his honor. Albert Funk is dead. Communist and former member of the Reichstag, Albert Funk dies at the age of 38 after being thrown from an upstairs window of a police station. Oof. That's not what, a, what the police should do, right? 26th of April, 1933. Spirits are high at our group meeting after successfully liberating Emilia Meyer's husband from prison. It feels so good to make a difference. I'm so grateful to you all, says Emilia. How can we ever repay you? It's our pleasure. We're happy to help, I say, and perhaps we can say hello in person when he has recovered. I'm afraid not, Emilia says. Now it's more dangerous than ever for him. He must leave the country. That doesn't matter. He's alive. Got more morale. We couldn't save God's Iris father. That's still hunting us. Now we must do more. We have 51 supporters. The Gestapo is probably everywhere. Hmm. Where it hurts. We got two paint. We could write slogans on walls, but we need, would need three paints for that. You must pay paint again somewhere if that is possible. Emilia Meyer is still notable, but we must risk it here. Mm. Could sell books. Uh, morale is okay, actually. We must buy more paint. That's clear. Looks like something I'm good at. Mm. Yeah, if they go together, maybe they can do it. 
I get the bicycle. Need someone to collect donations. Hagelstein. Mm, Karin Leopold could maybe buy some more medicine here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, she's a nurse. She could. She could definitely do it. Buy more medicine. Talk to the Christian community, and here, visit a museum. go here and Guts is probably okay with that and let's buy some more medicine with, with Karen Leopold she can do that there's nearly no risk for her one and this is uh, So if we would have more people, then we would have a chance for two, but we don't. So let's go and buy medicine here. Wish us luck. Here we go. Got more money. A lot less supporters now. We still need to buy paint. Go to a shop from far where she lives to avoid the shop owner recognizing her. And we buy paint. Oh, four paint. So we have six in total. That's crazy good. Gets Ira meets with people from the Christian community in Temple of talks with them about the regime. Uh, some have doubts, so he's not that good at it, but got four supporters. Gerhard Hagelstein. Come on, be successful. He's successful. We're upset about atrocities and he gains 22 marks, which is exceptional. We need some medicine, just in case. She visits the doctor at his med medical practice outside the regular opening hours and brings back the medicine, but she has been seen. Oh, we got some morale. We got some supporters. We're fine. The Sturmabteilung storms unions. Trade union offices are stormed by SA brown shirts. Trade unions are banned. They are replaced by the DAF, German Labour Front, created and headed by Robert Ley. An aircraft has been named Hindenburg and funds, funds, um, Göring funds also the Reich's Luftschutzbund, Reich Air Defense Association. 3rd of May, Götz Irrit told us that he's getting married and we're still, we're all invited to the wedding. Despite these grim times, he's organized a big wedding party outside of the city at a lake in Brandenburg. It's pretty important to us to celebrate a birthday as Christians even more. This will be good for us. Celebration is just what we need. So I agree that we should join the wedding and celebrate together with Götz, Iris, friends and relatives. I just hope none of the guests recognize us for what we are. Let's plan this. Yeah, we're a relatively low profile. Let's see what we can do. We have a lot of paint now. We should use the paint. A dangerous medium. We need strength and propaganda. Support Augustel Neuburg points out a number of walls that are not heavily guarded at night, but well seen by day. It would be ideal to write our slogan on. Let's see. Three here. Let's add the paint buckets together. They, they will need the bicycle. It's pretty clear. Mm. Let's see. Who is strong? 
I'm good at propaganda. Quarter birth, maybe. Whoa. Not that great, Gerhard Hagelstein. Not that great. Emilia. Uh, Götz Irre is probably best, right? Yeah, that, that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. Karin Leopold could maybe help. Yeah, look at that. That's what we're talking about. Emilia Meyer. Wouldn't help much. Have Götz and Karin. Would Kurt help? Kurt would definitely help. So we would get 70 to 21 people. Unlock the workshop and collect donations in Lichtenberg. Would medicine help? Now the question is, what happens when we add that? That adds just a lot of danger. Okay. Calm and reckless. <laughs> Let's do this. This is our mission now. And Hagelstein. We need money. Emilia Meyer. Hmm. Let's see. She could visit the museum. I'm not sure about this. She could nay, n talk to workers is not a good idea. Um, she could talk to the Christian community. Maybe it's the best thing she could do. Yeah, she's not great, but she's, well, she's got a good empathy and propaganda, at least. Mm, that would be lead to more people joining us. But I think that's best. It's just best she goes there. We might need a critical intel for something else. Here we go. 49 people. Supporters donated a lot of marks to us, and now... Emilia Maia meets with people from the Christian community in Templov, talks with them about the regime. They're split, but we gain four supporters. And Hagerstein is going to Kreuzberg, but the police show up. Let's hide. Stay calm and move on. Police are leaving. He's successful. People are upset about the latest atrocities of the regime and willing to help the group. And he has not been seen. He's so good at that. Now the paid job. At night, Götz Irre writes slogans on walls in Lichtenberg. Someone's getting suspicious. We'll hide. Stay calm and move on. So I've got the suspicion. Calms down. The next day, many people notice them and see that someone had the courage to put them there. It wasn't a big success, but it was a success. Across the Schloss Brücke, on a rainy late Wednesday night, I hear an angry voice shouting through a loudspeaker, a huge cheering crowd. It seems to be coming from the Opernplatz. We'll carefully move to the edge of the crowd. We've got to be careful. As I cross the Schloss Brücke, yeah, the scene is immense. Thousands of people are listening to the rantings of Joseph Goebbels. Him is the of propaganda with rapt attention. Always rambling. We don't really want to know. We know the newspaper that that's enough. It's really hurting us as a conservative that the state is just this rambling. This voice amplified by dozens of loudspeakers cannot be overheard. The area of extreme Jewish intellectualism is now at an end. The breakthrough of the German revolution has again cleared the way on the, on the German path. The future German man will not just be a man of books, a man of character scan the crowd. There are thousands gathered here at the Opernplatz. Some chant slogans. A group of students to my right breaks into song. 
Rai's angry shouts can be heard from the crowd. No to decadence and moral corruption. Down with the intellectualism. We'll keep moving through the crowd. Girls joins in, booming over the microphone. Yes to decency and morality in family and state. I consign with the flames the writings of Heinrich Mann, Ernst Glaser, e Erich Kästner. Yeah, I mean, if it would be decency and morality, we would be all for it. But that is not it. It's flames on books. There's an immense pile of books in the center of the plaza. Perhaps tens of thousands of books are blazed in a bonfire. Heinrich Mann, I mean. That's when I realized what this is. It's the action against the un-German spirit announced in the German Student Union back in April. It's a book book, a huge one. And there'll be so many supporters of Nazism. Do they even realize what they're doing? I've had enough. Nearby a group of students breaks into a chant about German purity and nausea creeps into my stomach. Sharp-faced man with sad, penetrating eyes glares at me with a side eye. You don't look well, friend. Why aren't you joining the chant? He remarks quietly. There's a hint of irony in his voice. Maybe he sympathizes with the resistance. It could be useful. At least something. Why aren't you joining the chant? I reply. Why aren't you? The tiniest hint of a smirk creeps across the corner of his mouth, and sadness draws over his face as his gaze turns to the fire. His wet eyes reflect the dancing flames. He reminds me of someone I know. It's enough for me to attend the destruction of my own work. To celebrate it would be too self deprecating, even for me. His voice is soft and resigned. Wait, what? Is that the books? Then at him, his mouth agape. You! You did you! You are you! I stutter. He holds one hand out and purses his lips against uh, to shush me. I regain my composure as a half smile grows below his sad eyes. But what are you doing here? I whisper. You know they had to ask the fireman to douse the books in petrol. Leave it to the Nazis to schedule a book burning in the rain, huh? He chuckles. This isn't a laughing matter. It's hardly the time for jokes, I hiss. The man turns and faces me directly. I recognize him now. My friend, not long from now, this whole sad spectacle will be over. He tilts his head and pauses, and I will write a novel about it. From Eris Kessner, the writer. One of the students has been staring at us and cries out, It's him! Kessner! Eris Kessner, it's him! Oh my goodness. Should we save him? Yeah. We're a Christian. I will distract them. Distract them, I say. But you should probably leave now. Pornographer, another one shouts. The author is suddenly aware of the danger he's in and quickly disappears into the crowd before things get worse. I pick up a notebook that must have fallen out of his pocket. I return home. I should bring it to Eric Kester, the notebook. I walk home in the days, seeped in the smell of smoke. The echoes of my slo of slogans and chants ringing in my ears. I never forgot the dancing flames reflected in Kester's eyes as he watched his own books burn. Yeah, that was where we were at public book burning. All books from the library of the Acad Academy for Sexual Research too. Hmm. A lot of people were sad these days. Ironically and unironically. 10th of May 1933. Yeah, if you destroy if you destroy books, you destroy like respect for for the past that has produced you. The future that is to come. Attack on German on, on Berlin Academy. Outraged Nazi students stormed the Berlin Institute for Sexual Science and loot its library. Social Democrat executives go into exile. Due to the political situation, six members of the Social Democrats executive decide to leave Germany and work from abroad. Among them are Hans Vogel and Otto Wells, who would become pretty important later on. I mean, if you... <laughs> Ah, with all that Nazi na uh, um, propaganda about being natural, why do they storm like the, the, the Institute for Sexual Science? It's, it's somehow illogical in itself, right? So, just science is their enemy because it needs, it needs to rationality and 
It's just irrational what this was. 10th of May 1933. My heart skips a beat. I see Gerhard Hagelstein at the meeting. There are bruises and cuts on his face. Are you okay, Gerhard? Oh, yeah, he's got a, oh, it will take more than a couple of brown shirt thugs to keep me down. He almost cracks a smile. Now that the Nazis have banned the unions, I get attacked just for showing up and speaking up. Well, this isn't over yet. Something in him seems more resolute than ever. Let's see what we can do now. What can we do? And what should we do? We could could go hide again, but there's so much we can do right now. Let's see what has been unlocked. Gain access to the industrial parking lot to steal gasoline. There's Kessner's notebook. Oh yeah, we should bring that back to him. Maybe we ourselves should do that. And we can level up, look at that. Let's learn to resist smarter and better. Which skill do we want to improve by one? Um, secrecy is helpful, but empathy... Yeah, it definitely needs more empathy. Oh, that, that wasn't so good. Let's see what we, what we would gain. Intel. Now, if we would have more people joining in, I should probably let it be done by, by Maya. Yeah, let's, let's have her do it. Bring the notebook to him, and we have... Oh, can we gain money somewhere? That's the question. Collect donations in Lichtenberg. Yeah, that, that's something. I mean, we can collect donations in Kreuzberg. Hagelstein is on that. He's always pretty successful there. So we have that. We can set up a workshop. We can collect more donations in Lichtenberg. Hmm. Karin. Ooh, she's pretty bad at that. Götz. Götz is better because he's a worker. Hmm. The critical intel? No. Hmm. Let's give him that opportunity. And setting up a workshop. Worker Dorothea Sitkovsky tells us about a remote garage that we could use to set up a workshop for the group. Mm. Court will do that. Is that every it's just we pay something and then it unlocks printing books, leaflets, critical leaflets, building a fire device. Could I have someone help? That would make a difference. So here we go. What could Karen do? Talk to the community again? Or visit a museum? Or buy more medicine? Hmm. Yeah, she's not really good at that, at talking to the community. We, she could talk to workers, but that wouldn't be good. She could buy some stuff. Uh, let's give her the bicycle.
We have 60 people supporting us, so we get a lot of marks. We're setting up the workshop. Cordworth rents a remote garage in Liftenburg. We can lose it to set up our own workshop where we print leaflets and build equipment for the missions. Good. Every visit the groups and known supporters among workers in Lichtenberg here yeah, to ask for some additional donations. And people are donating a lot. We're going to good old Kreuzberg. And people support us. I don't have that much money there though. Current Leopold is on her way to meet with a doctor who is willing to sell us medicine. And she gains medicine. Emilia Meyer visits Erich Kessner at his home to bring him to the notebook the writer lost at the open plots. Oh, we need to hide. We have to abort the mission without achieving anything. Morale is low, my friends. Hitler promotes peace. Hitler endorses US President Roosevelt's word disarmament proposal. He demands a revision of the Versailles Treaty, an end of the partial occupation of German territory by France, the elimination of German war reparation payments. Mayors suspended. In 70 cities, the appointed mayors are suspended or on forced leave. Wagner and Ley ban strikes. Commissioner of the Reich Otto Wagner and Leader of the German Working Front ban any strikes and labor disputes for the coming weeks. 17th of May. I think we're not fighting hard enough, says Emilia Meyer straight away. And I know that some of our supporters, or perhaps should I say ex-supporters, think we aren't fighting as well. At all. Uh, it's difficult. I hear you, I say, but this is not that easy and you know it. We need to do something spectacular, says Emilia. Something they can't sweep under the rug and then pretend as if nothing happened. Slogans and leaflets just won't cut it anymore. Okay, I mean, she's our powerhouse. Let's do something spectacular. We need to come up with something big. I know that a lot of people are disappointed and scared. And you have given up, she says. I'm afraid even more will if we do not act soon. Something big. We have many supporters. We can collect donations here in Lichtenberg. That's something we should do. We have red herrings. What is that? We could buy some red herrings. But for what? For what purpose? We could again write some slogans on walls. And that's something that is not that big, but it is maybe big enough. We could smuggle some books. Secrecy and literacy. Yeah, first you try that again with Kestner. You get a bike this time. And uh, we can probably write slogans on walls, right? Who would be good for that? Karin. Good. Gerhard, not, those, not so much Gerhard. Would some marks increase something? No. Hmm. Oh, we should have we should have kept the bike for that. Still, we need to try. Court can maybe. Else Grave was contract to a resistance group abroad would give us books that are banned in Germany. Could do that together with Hagelstein. It's not very successful. Mm. You collect donations. Risk here is very low. Not good at this. Kreuzberg. Oh, that would be pretty good. Yeah, we need to send him there. Hagelstein can collect in Lichtenberg. Even though that's more dangerous somehow. 
could worth could help that would give us give us big money let's do it let's do it are we sure yes big money but Hagstein visits the group's known supporters oh my goodness stay calm and move on suspicion comes down and we're successful we only get 22 let's see about the painting Knight current Leopold writes slow with some walls in Lichtenberg. The next day, many people notice them and see that someone had the courage to put them there. Current thinks she has been seen. Amelia Meyer visits Erich Kessner at his home to bring him the notebook. The author is overjoyed to get his notes back. He writes us in, and over a cup of tea, he tells us how the Nazis are forcing the publishers to stop supporting un German writers like him. A lot of morale. As a eugenics program planned, a new law is introduced permitting human sterilization to further Nazi eugenics program to build a master race. And his visits a fleet in Kiel. There's a Prussian enabling act against the votes of the Social Democrats. Enables the prisoner of Prussia to pass laws without the parliament. 24th of May. Excitedly, Karin Leopold comes up to me. I did it. What did you do? I asked. Karin jumps back in. Remember, my brother in the SA told me to try and get information, and I did it. I have something that our group can work with. Well done. Fantastic news. I say, let's get to it. Nice. 